Hi there. This video is going to show you how to create a line graph in a digital assignment made with Google Slides. For this particular assignment, we are graphing the number of bubbles produced by a plant at different depths in a body of water. We were provided with a template that looks like graph paper, and we could use text boxes, shapes, and lines to create our graph, but this video is going to show you how to create a digital graph using Google Slides and Google Sheets. I'm going to go to the blank slide in this assignment, choose Insert, select Chart, and then select Line. This is going to create a template um, that I will be able to edit so to show the data um, that I'm trying to graph. So to do this, I am going to click the graph and select in the upper right hand corner the chart options and select open source. This is going to open a Google Sheets and I'm going to enter my data into this Google Sheets so to create the line graph in my digital assignment. So that it's easier for me to enter the data, I have opened the uh, page for the Google Sheet in a separate window and then left my digital assignment in its own window. This way I can see the chart while also being able to manipulate the data. So you'll notice that this um, template of a line graph is a double line graph, but we are creating a single line graph since we just have one set of data. If we were graphing the number of bubbles produced by two or three different water plants, then we would have two or three different series of data. We would have plant A, plant B, plant C. But since this is a single line graph, I'm going to delete the column um, right here because it's just not needed. The data that goes in column A or the first column is going to be the data that you want to appear on the x-axis or horizontal axis. So that is going to be depth for this particular graph. So I'm going to enter the um, depth values in this column. So we have 2, 5, 10, 15, 25, and 30. In this column, I am going to enter the values for how many bubbles per minute were produced by this plant at these specific depths. So at 2 meters, it was 29 bubbles per minute. At 5, it was 36, and so on. So now I have a rough graph here, but there are a few important things that I need to do. I need to create a title. I need to label my horizontal or x-axis, and I need to label my vertical or y-axis. So to do that, I'm going to select the three dots in this corner and choose Edit Chart. On this uh, pane of options, I could change the type of chart, but that's not important here. I want to customize certain features of that chart. So it's really important that I have a good title and that my axes are labeled correctly. So the chart title is going to go here. Oops. And then I can change the axes titles. So the horizontal axis um, is depth and I want to make sure I include my units. The vertical axis is uh, number of bubbles per minute. So I can do a few other things. I can adjust the font style, the font color. Um, I can choose whether the uh, font is italicized or bolded. So for this particular graph, because it is a single line graph, I don't need a legend. So I'm going to remove the legend from my graph. If I had multiple lines on my graph, it would be important to have a legend so that you could differentiate the two or three uh, sets of data that are on your graph. I could go on and alter the minimum and maximum values for my graph, but for the most part, the program is going to create the best fit for your graph and this won't have to be adjusted. So now that I'm done with my graph in Google Sheets, I'm gonna go back to my digital assignment and I'm going to go to where I want my graph to appear. You'll notice that it says update and I'm going to click that and when I do 
it creates my graph for me. I can close out Google Sheets in the other window. If for some reason I needed to go back and edit my data because I made a mistake, I would just go and click open source here and fix any errors that I made in my graph. And that is how you make a digital line graph in Google Slides using Google Sheets.